Hey, what's up everybody? We are back today with a quick walkthrough of the Chapter 1 side quest known as the Tholian Tablet. Now, Tholian Tablet, we've already picked it up. You pick it up from Arishad. I'm going to assume you've already picked it up, otherwise you probably wouldn't be watching this video. I'm also going to assume that you can follow exclamation points that eventually lead you down to the lower catacombs where this quest starts. Once you're down in the lower catacombs, you're going to wait to make your way to where you see Avia at on the map right now. Once you get over here, you're going to want to loot this body. Upon looting the body, you're going to receive two things. One, you're going to get a note. The note says, remember to awake the souls, perform the ritual three times, and don't forget the fire enchant. That's well, not particularly helpful, but it is trying to be helpful. The other thing that you do get is a drumstick, so it's a quest item. This is what they want you to do a fire enchant on. Now, you can't just slap an essence on it or anything like that. you got to do something special. So, from this room, what you need to do is come over here and whack this one time. I'll wager the gong responds to more than mere percussion. And it should update your map to show you that you need to go up here somewhere. So, we're going to head up in that direction. Now I've removed all the enemies from the area just so that we can get through this as quick as humanly possible because my guess is that you had the same question I did which was what am I supposed to do with this stupid drumstick it doesn't work on the gong. Well, I figured out where it was because I remembered there was a strange orange glow in one of these rooms up here while I was killing in chapter one and thought, for the love of God, why is that thing glowing orange? Why can't I loot it? Well, it wasn't to be looted. It was for this uh, quest. So if you get up here and you haven't been up here yet, okay, you haven't been where we're at right now, you're going to see a bunch of fire coming across this bridge, right? If that's the case, interact with this lever right here this lever right here and then this one so bottom left bottom right top left that's going to disable the fire statues and stop them from putting fire on the bridge and you can get into this room without walking through the fire now get in here there's some combat to be done in here as you can imagine but eventually you make your way over to this altar drop the drumstick on the altar the statues turn and burn and now our drumstick has been enchanted. So now we're gonna grab the drumstick and you guessed it, head all the way back down where we just were. So we're gonna make our way down through here. And now we're back in the gong room. So now that we're back in the gong room, we are going to switch to our mortal form we're going to hit this three times. After you hit it the third time, I want you to quickly switch into your Shadow Realm Devourer form, and you're going to do some combat. Now, I'm a little bit higher level than you'll probably be when you pick up this quest, so this will probably look a little easier than it winds up being. It's kind of a cluster. There's a lot of combat here. But stay in Demon form, stay in devourer form until everything is dead and loot pops out of this chest. I'll show you why in just a second. Okay, so we're going to do one, two, and then three. Switch into shadow form. Now that we're the devourer, there's going to be some combat. Well, at least we're getting somewhere. And by some combat, I mean a lot of combat. Okay, so everything dies. Now that everything is dead, we pop out two things. The Tholian Tablet and this Heartseeker bow. All that for a carved stone tax ledger. My people were always so excessive when it came to tomb security. Well, Arashad may still want it. Alright, so this is the stats on the Heartseeker bow, right? Now, I promised you one more thing. Before you uh, transition out of your devourer form, know that right now the entire room is full of poison and the door is still locked. 
So what you want to do is stand near the uh, sarcophagus, all right? Switch out of devourer form, put your cursor over top of the sarcophagus, and interact with the lever. That's going to go ahead and open the door. Now you can switch back into the devourer form and head out the door and not take any damage. So that's going to wrap up the quest. Questions, comments, or concerns, share them with me in the comment section below. You know I always love to hear from you guys. But as always, thanks for watching. Take care.